It is a lesson that more parents are forced to teach their children. Be extra careful when walking to the bus stop and pay extra attention when you get there. These days, you never know who's watching. Eight on your side's Paul Mueller joining us now with what you can do to make sure that your child gets to and from school safely. And it's something parents have worried about for years, but times have changed. You have to be you, extra You remember cautious. when you and I walked to the bus? We uh, didn't have that concern in our, right. in our minds, right? And, uh, you know, it is a quick trip really from the house yeah. to the bus stop mm -hmm. when you think about it. Um, but along the way, someone could be watching and waiting. Sex offenders? Well, maybe living too close for comfort. It's pitch black. Kids at the bus stop on the side of this busy Tampa road waiting for the bus to show up. It's very unsafe. Uh, the bus stops, but the cars keep going. Sure, cars may be whizzing by here on North Boulevard, but some parents are scared of something far more sinister. Within a mile, you have eight sex offenders here. Yeah, there was one right on my street. Not just one, but eight. Eight sex offenders within one mile of Cheryl's house. Does this surprise you? I'm glad it's only eight. <laughs> Two miles out, 54 offenders. Three miles, 140. Then five miles, a whopping 379 sex offenders. Do you have a fear that one of these sex offenders could do something to your grandchild? Oh, yeah. So we showed Cheryl the state's website that helps parents find sex offenders. You look at this. All the time. Absolutely. We didn't even have to show this mother. She's keeping track constantly. You never know who's in your neighborhood. And sometimes they don't even register. Mm -hmm. We had one across the street from the house. That's exactly why she drives her 10-year-old Brendan to and from school every day. So we made a trip of our own. We stopped by three sex offenders who live nearby. One of them just around the corner. No answer, no surprise. We're concerned about our students from the time they leave their house until the time they return to their house. Linda Cobb of Pasco County Schools voices her concern, but technically... Yeah, we, we take responsibility of the student when they step on the bus. Meaning any step your child takes before or after the bus stop, that's up to you. But that doesn't mean that we don't care what happens. Does the name Jennifer Odom ring a bell to you? Yes, it sends chills down my spine. Why is that? Because that is our worst nightmare, that a student gets off the bus and doesn't return home. That worst nightmare came true 24 years ago and became the Bay Area's most notorious case of a child who vanished from her bus stop. The mystery surrounding the disappearance of 12-year-old Jennifer Odom still haunts this rural Pasco County community. Is this case solvable? Yes. At least that's what investigators hope. They're focused now on DNA that could lead them to Odom's killer. With advances in science and technology, we're able to send new items and other items off to the lab. Criminologists recommend getting to know all of your neighbors and not just know the names and faces of the sex offenders. We have violent offenders and burglars that also live nearby us, but they're not on a list that we can easily look at. Bottom line, keep your kids close. And when you can't, teach them how to look out for themselves. What have you told them? Kick them right where it hurts. When that bus door opens at the end of the day. I'm right there. I'm waiting for him. I'm ready for him to come home. So in addition to getting to know your neighbors and talking with your kids, use the state's website to find the sex offenders who live ne near you. All you have to do is put in your address. And, of course, we put the link up on our homepage, KeithWFLA.com. I think a, a great point, though. Mm -hmm. It's not just sex offenders. I mean, anybody could be out there watching your children yeah. coming and going. You have to be extra cautious. And not all sex offenders are created equal in terms of how the, uh, they committed whatever crime they may have been. That's true. Of. I mean, how many neighbors do you know? I was thinking about it last night. I know three out of four of my closest neighbor, neighbors. So yeah. that's important, too. You know, yeah. the, the sex offenders, not all lumped into one category right. here. You you know, some of them uh, just one crime, you know, that they may have gotten drunk and that they went ahead and uh, urinated in public, you know, so that means they expose themselves. But, but they're on the list as if they were, uh, you know, somebody horrific. Yeah, there are other, the other sex offenders who, you know, have done the unthinkable. But this uh, website, you can get right to it easily if you want to check this out. You can right? put your address in, we put it on our website. All right, thank you, Paul.